Good morning and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful fall day and yeah, we have got to get this garlic in so yeah, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get set up and I'll be right back. Okay, I have these bags cleaned up. Now I did have to kind of trim back chubs there, but I did take a lot of really nice clones. I've got all the weeds and everything out of here. There weren't very many, but there's always a few. But I have these two long bags all cleaned up and ready to go. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of soil into these bags. So I gotta get my cart and um, get a couple of really nice bags of soil and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna start prepping the soil. I have a bag of garden soil and a bag of black cow for each long bag. I wanna bring the dirt level up just a little bit and add some nutrition. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bag of each put on here and um, I'll be right back. Okay, I have that on, leveled out and mixed up a little bit. I'm going to add some joves, just a little bit. A few handfuls in each square. Then I'm going to tickle it in with a rake. I don't want to pull on the rake because then you have a tendency to pull too much of the fertilizer out to the edges. I'm just going to use the tines on the rake just to get it down into the dirt a little bit. Now you may remember that when I took the beans out of here, I only cut the beans off. I didn't pull them out. That way, the nitrogen that the beans bound up in the roots is still in the bed. But 
this bag is ready. I'm going to go ahead and get the other bag done. And I'll be right back in just a moment. Okay, I have my giant bowl of garlic. Now, I want to give them about as much space as the palm of my hand. So I'm going to pick the biggest ones. I want to make sure that they have skin all the way around them. And when I separated these, there were a couple that the skin on one side came off. I don't find any right here. But you want to make sure that they have skin all the way around them. And you want to plant them the pointy side up. But I'm going to put them just about four knuckles in a grid just to where just the point comes up. Get a couple of these in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm going to space them about that far apart in both directions. Yeah, you want to leave just the tip sticking up. I'll do as many as I can from this side and then I'll go to the other side. I don't have very long arms. But. They're spaced with about the palm of my hand. It's a beautiful day to be outside playing in the dirt for one of the last few times for the year. But we have pretty temperate weather right now. I think today the high is supposed to be about 67, I believe. And it's only about 11.30, so it's still nice and cool. But that that is a lot of garlic, and it's, it's going to take me a while to do it, so. Just happy for a beautiful sunny fall day. But, I got quite a few of these in here, and you can see how far apart they are spaced. And I have two whole beds to plant, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little break in here, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all of the garlic planted. 
And the next step is to lay down some straw. So I need to go get a bale of straw and my cart. And I'll be right back. But don't laugh. I know my rows aren't exactly always straight. But there are the same number of garlic in each row. Came out to 12 in a row. So, yeah. Everybody's all in. And it's time to go get a straw. So hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my straw over here in my cart, and I'm going to start putting straw on this bed first. Okay, I don't want to put it on too thick, but I do want to make sure that I get enough. You don't want to get any big heavy clumps in one spot. And you certainly don't want to leave the string in it. But I'm going to break it up a bit. Between both of these beds, I'm going to use about a half a bale of straw. You don't want to be able to see the dirt. You definitely don't want it too deep. Okay, that's one bag done, and I've got one more to you, so hold on, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all of my straw on. That means there's only one thing left to do. I'm going to get a little water on here. Hold on, I'll be right back.
Okay, that is the garlic planted, and I got the straw on, and all water again, but it is pretty much done for right now. It is going to start sprouting here before too long. You see the little green noses come up through the straw. So, yeah, we'll be looking for that here before too long, but I do have one other thing that I'd like to show you, so hold on, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're out here at the chicken coop. I want to show you the progress that we made. I'm pretty much done with this part of the coop. I do have to still paint the one end white, but I came through and I touched up the chickens a little bit, give them a little bit more color because the Brahmas do have a little splash of a little bit of a darker feather. So, put some vines on the windows and some flowers down in the grass. Come around the back here. And on this side, I went and put vines around the vents. Some flowers and a little bit of touch up on the chickens. But that is pretty much it for this part of the painting. But I do have to get the one end painted white before winter hits. But it's still a little ways off, so I got a little bit of time. I have a few other projects I need to get working on too. But that is pretty much it for this coop. Let's see if I can back up back here. Show you a little bit more broader of the picture. But yeah, that was a really fun project and this poor old coop was definitely in need of some paint. So yeah, really happy with it. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Hold on. Okay, so that's all the footage that I have for today. Really, really tickled to have a nice fall day to be working outside. Another opportunity to get in the dirt and get a little bit dirty. But, yeah, glad to have that done. Do have a few other other projects coming up this week that um, can't wait to get tied into. So, I am going to go ahead and get on out of here. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I'm out here digging in the dirt yet again. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, please give it a thumbs up. But yeah, do need to, to get on with a little more work today, but I am absolutely tickled that you chose to spend a few moments of your day with me today. And um, don't forget, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.